A fierce battle took place between Solfrid Kanda from Norway and Mo Chiron from Canada two months after the Paris Olympics. I think we made a good show and it was super fun to compete with Solfrid. I won't let it be possible to do that. I think you had also be interested to see how Solfrid handled 165 in clean and jerk. I put arms 165 on the clean jerk just because. As well as where the 2025 World Weightlifting Championship will be held. We were there, and to make sure you do not miss our future updates, subscribe to Tarakti Media. This event took place on 2024 in the city of Fjord, Norway, the same place where the 2025 World Weightlifting Championship will take place. The tournament in Fjord was a test event to allow the team organizing the 2025 World Championship to work out all the nuances of hosting an event of such magnitude. I had already visited Fjord back in 2016, when the European Championship took place there. Back then, I was impressed by the beauty of the location. It's worth nothing that Fjord is several hours drive from the nearest airport. But these are some of the most scenic hours on the road you can imagine. Along the way, you will encounter narrow roads, tunnels, and even ferry crossing connecting Norway's Iceland. The ferries operate automatically, so there is nothing to worry about. Your car or bus drive onto the ferry, crosses, and you continue your journey. During the trip, it's hard to believe that so deep in wheels there it could be such a modern, developed city. And here we are in Fjord, the city the next year will host around 600 athletes from all over the world. Upon checking into the hotel, we immediately saw posters of the local favorite, world weightlifting star Solfred Kohanda. It's impressive that while it's autumn, there is already snow in the mountains, and at the same time, you are staying in a modern hotel with all amenities for both athletes and spectators. In many places, banners with the 2025 World Championship logo were already displayed. The place is inspiring. Walking through the conference rooms, everything is about weightlifting. The rooms are rented specifically for meetings and conferences related to the tournament. It should be noted that the tournament was a test event and took place in the hotel. The World Championship itself will be held in a dedicated sports complex located 5 minutes away on foot from the hotel. But in today's video, all the events are happening with the hotel grounds. This is very convenient. No need to travel far. Step out of your room and you already at the competition. The venue where the athletes performed was spacious and had a cool design. The referee's seats were ready and there were even flags in case of system malfunction. The competition could not stop or deviate from the schedule for even a second. There were only 8 competitors in the tournament. Adrian Hanelli, 81, Norway. Saul Waller, 59, Norway. Elvolai Rosette, 89, Norway. Ein Andersson, 59, Norway. Roberto Gutu, 81, Germany. Maud Chiron, 64, Canada. Regnar Holm, 109 plus, Norway. And Solfi Kwanda, 87, Norway. Of course, Maud Chiron and Solfi Kwanda need no introduction. But the rest of the athletes also deserve recognition, as many of them have earned podium spots in European Championships or have repeatedly won at the Norwegian National Championships. Since the participants were from a wide range of categories, the winner was determined by the Sinclair coefficient. The format also introduced some changes compared to the classic version, where athletes usually have one minute between the attempts, and the one who called for the lightest weight lifts first. Here, the athletes lifted in turns. 
the women started, each taking their first attempt with the declared way. Then came the second attempt, and similarly the third. The men followed the same pattern. The format remained traditional in that the competition started with the snatch, followed by a 10 minutes break, after which the athletes performed the clean and jerk. Outside, there were beautiful snowy mountains, while inside, the athletes were preparing to step onto the platform. The crowd was pleasantly surprising. Not only was the venue packed to 100% capacity, but the spectators were also very engaged and enthusiastic about what was happening on the stage. The first round of lifts was executed perfectly by the female athletes. In the second round, all four lifters also successfully hit their declared weights. As for the third round, Sol Waller failed to catch the barbell in the receiving position, and Ian Anderson lost her balance and couldn't complete the snatch. Maud completed her lift with easy and successfully snatched 99 kilos, 7 kilos less than she lifted at the Olympics. But considering the athletes had been resting for a while, it was a still solid result. Solfred locked it in 110. For reference, at the Olympics she snatched 121 kilo. As for the men, like the women, they successfully completed their first attempts. In the second round, Norwegian Elvalai Rosette and Roberto Gutu from Germany failed to complete their lifts. Fortunately, in his third attempt, Gutu successfully snatched 140 kilos, while Rosette added 1 kilo to the bar and completed his snatch in the third attempt. Although Adrian Hanelli showed good bar speed, but he unfortunately lost balance and dropped the barbell. The only male athlete to successfully complete all three attempts was Norwegian super heavyweight Ragnar Holm in the 109 kilo plus category. During the two minutes break, we had the pleasure of listening to a speech by Stian Grimset. If you have ever been to competition or watched videos of weight events, you have likely seen Stian, coaches Solfred. Stian is not only Solfred's coach, but also the president of the Norwegian Weightlifting Federation. He is the driving force behind the organization of this event and the upcoming 2025 World Championship. We had the pleasure of speaking with his team, who shared insights about Solfred's preparation. I think it helps to have been in the Olympics before as a sun athlete. That, that's for sure, because Olympics is something else. It's, uh, there's so much other impressions, so I think it's good to have this experience and to, to know what you need to take away and, and to, to stay focused. It was also interesting to hear about how the team camps in the UK and Italy came about. We were still in camp also in, in Britain and, uh, us, and uh, before uh, uh, Rome, and uh, the, the big difference was that in Rome it was more more athletes working for the same goal. So, so it was a group which was having a really good dynamic in, in the mind and physical, mentally preparation for the Olympics. So, so it's, it's, it was good to be, be a group of lifters having the same dreams and same goals. So, so that's, uh, that's why we uh, did twice in Rome the last, the last month. Solfred echoes her coach's thoughts, the importance of being surrounded by people who share the same goal, which at the moment was the Olympics. Yeah, like uh, in Norway we have a small community for uh, lifting, so for me it was perfect to... It, Italy had perfect environments for me, uh, you had lifters that are, that are going to the Olympics, you have good conditions uh, for uh, training hard and you have people who also are training hard so for me it was perfect uh, place to be especially being the only one in Norway to go to the Olympics uh, in weightlifting so to have uh, some um, I don't know how to say it like uh, environment or like a group of people around me had been very important so um, we've fo been focused on us 
not thinking too much about other lifters. And I think that has made the growth uh, good. And that's why I think we've managed to succeed as good as we've been. Okay, and now back to the competition. The athletes are performing the clean and jerk. The format remains the same. Sol Waller goes first, followed by Ian Anderson, Mo Sharon and Solfred Koanda. Unfortunately, in the second attempt, both Waller and Anderson failed to lift their declared weights, while Maud and Solfred successfully completed their attempts. The third attempt was also unsuccessful for the Norwegian lifters. Waller and Anderson, Canadian Maud Chiron, approached her third attempt with a 5 kilos increase, successfully cleaning 122 kilos, and after a brief pause, confidently jerking it overhead. Now, Solfred needs 16 kg in total to surpass mode based on the Sinclair coefficient. Solfred's team called it for a record breaking, 165 kg, which she had never lifted before. And here's what happened next. Solfrid later give us her comments on this attempt. Yes, I do have a goal. I have a goal to improve. I do have a goal to uh, set the bar high for myself. I did a little stunt there. I put on 165 on the clean jerk just because I really want to perform well. I want to put some pressure on me and I want to have, like I want Norway to have something to look forward to. So for me, I really want to, uh, yeah, I want to show more because I've been doing a lot in training that I haven't been able to show on the uh, the stage. So I hope, like Ferda, here uh, in front of my own countrymen, that I'm able to perform my best. And the men also completed their first clean jerk attempts. In the second attempt, only Elvolara Z missed his goal. In the third round, Adrian Hanelli finished his final attempt with a successful 155 kilos clean and jerk. After the failed second attempt and some rest, Royzet increased the weight to 151 kg, but unfortunately he couldn't lift it. Gyutu successfully lifted 171 kg in the third attempt. The super heavyweight Ragnar Holm successfully completed two attempts before going for 200 kilos in the third. But two of the three judges did not validate the lift due to press out. In the women's competition, Maud Sharon won with a total of 221 kg. Maud's body weight was 62.98 kg, giving her a single coefficient of 290.166, which was 18 points higher than Solfit who totaled 242 kg in this competition. Sol Waller took third place, and Ayn Anderson came fourth. Uh, I'm super happy to be here, I'm happy to be invited to be here, I'm happy to show other country to hear but also bring like people as one here um, i think we made a good show and it was super fun to compete with Solfrid. i won't never be able to do that because she's like another country category but it was fun to do that it was fun to do that with the guys as well i've never competed in that kind of uh, format yeah. so it was really, really fun. Yeah. 
In the men's competition, the super heavyweight Regnar Holm totaled 357 kg, 46 kilos more than his closest competitor. However, in terms of the Sinclair coefficient, his closest rival, Roberto Guti from Germany, came first with a score of 411.304. Adrian Hanelli took third place, and Elvola Rosette finished fourth. Honestly, our team left the competition with the great memories, as the fully packed, enthusiastic crowd supported all the athletes. I'm sure that the World Championship in Norway will pleasantly surprise not only the athletes, but also the spectators, who will come to witness the wonderful and significant event for weightlifting. And to make sure you do not miss our future updates, subscribe to Tarakti Media.